Church Tech Weekly presents NAM 2015, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for everything production related in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, we've made our way over to the other side of the very crowded, as you can see, Shore booth, and uh, wanted to show you a product that's actually been out for a little while, but this is the first show that we've been to where we've been able to cover it. And uh, you're probably familiar with the uh, PSM 900 in-ear monitor. That's been out for, what, three years or so now, three or four years. Uh, the PSM 1000, which has been out for a couple years. Now there's a new extension to that whole PSM line, and it is the PSM 300. And I have Corey here who's going to tell us a little bit about it. This is a neat product. I've tested it already. Sounds really, really good, but we'll let Corey tell us a little bit about uh, what makes this product unique. So PSM 300 is a stereo personal monitor system. It's replacing PSM 200, which is an all analog, mono transmission only in-ear monitor system. And one of the great things about PSM 300 is that we updated the architecture. So this is different from PSM 200, 900, and 1000, which uses all analog components. PSM 300 has a hybrid architecture that employs a digital audio section and an analog RF section. So you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Getting great 24-bit digital audio, it's super clear, got a great stereo separation, but you're also getting the low latency of analog RF transmission. So front end to back end, you're looking at about ha less than half a millisecond of latency. Now the system comes in two different configurations, both of which share the same uh, transmitter. Uh, it's, this is the P3T half rack transmitter. It uses quarter inch inputs and throughputs. It has a single BNC connector on the back end. But the stereo, or excuse me, the standard system comes with the P3R plastic body pack. It's a nice slim form factor, really lightweight with a fixed antenna and a mixed mode knob on the side here. Runs on AA batteries, employs our scan and sync feature as well. And then the professional system comes with some enhanced features here. So this is a metal body pack here, still really lightweight, super rugged aluminum construction, runs off a of double A's or our SB900 lithium ion battery. Uh, so it works with all of our recharging stations, the two bay dock, the eight bay dock, as well as the one and twos that we just came out with. This also has a couple extra features in that you have a low uh, boost or a low attenuation or a high boost or high attenuation shelf. We also came out with very recently, the P9HW uh, hardwired pack. So this one will be replacing the P4HW and the P6HW that have been in our PSM line for quite some time now. This one also employs a digital, ar digital audio architecture and we employed a four band EQ in this one. So that's a low and a high shelf and two sweepable parametric EQs. For the PSM 300, we also have a four channel antenna combiner, the PA411, and that one can power up to four P3Ts off of a single fan whip. Cool, and so uh, that's where maybe run down the pricing and availability of all this stuff. Absolutely. So the standard system with the plastic body pack retails for $699. The professional system retails for $799. The P9HW uh, hardwired pack retails for $499, and the PA411 retails for $749. Awesome, and all these products are shipping and available now. All these products are shipping. Awesome, and if people want to learn more, they can go to Shure.com and check it all out. Yeah, awesome, so I've tested all these products. They really do sound good. The 300 sounds exquisite. Very, very good sound uh, stereo separation, much better than some of the other ones, the analog ones. Very low noise for, and lots of dynamic range. So really, really great product at a great price point. So again, if you're looking for wireless in-ears, you need to check out the PSM 300 at Shure. Thanks, Corey.